the where the problem might come in here for John Howard is that game first do have that raise and uh, having a duelist first and foremost is always a big thing a, a massive boon to have for your team because you have that super super explosive power and then of course the fact that it is Haven and there's a lot of great places where you can get tons of value out of her utility double duelist for game first they're looking to be fast and hard and big on the attacking side first they're going to be looking to really pad those numbers early on so that they have a, a more stress-free defensive side yeah i actually think it could be a real problem for john howard that they don't have that flexibility that they don't have that maneuverability because look at their comp and four of these players and characters just want to be sitting in their spot and playing with set plays and that can sometimes be a problem when you have to invest a lot here but good early um, shots coming out game fist are just rushing on into this one and i mean when you've got the duelist why wouldn't you already spotting out a couple of these plays a good flash there trying to find out some information but b magic forces them away for now and game fist they don't just go straight for the end it was a super early gravitational well as well and we see DM God trying to go for a very deep push down C long. Gets a little bit of information there, but I like seeing that John Howard haven't fully committed to a rotation in either direction just yet. Need to be wary though, because Game is still posturing towards the A site for the moment, and that's where the bomb is. So that's of course going to be the important site. They figured it out. The rotation is coming through. Oh my goodness! No! <laughs> Good stuff coming through here from John Howard. They can find this monster. He's in the perfect spot. Well, whiffs everything. QQQ and NGL. Step up to the plate, but Luke lets them have no quarter. And now with Spike down on the floor and Game Fist trying their very darndest to make this happen, Dash is going to have to push on into these two remaining players left. of um, John Howard, who just holding the angle together at the long range, hits the headshot. But unfortunately, ah, uh, that ghost is just too powerful. Ghost versus Classic, you know who's going to come out on top. That was really, really devastating for Sharky. Dashes straight, or gets, doesn't even dash, just kind of walks onto site post-flash. Misses all of the shots with the Classic. And in the reload, Peggy no longer has the blind and manages to get the 2k. I mean, Peggy is someone we highlighted yesterday for being that super clutch machine. And we're seeing that again here with great backup from Luke as well. Shut down that A site very, very easily. Seems that uh, double duelist comp gonna take a, a round or two to warm up as now obviously John Howard have a little bit of a gun advantage. Yeah, nice stuff there from DM God just peeking on out and taking QQQ down. This fight for spite as well is easily gonna force out that one player, but the dash is there. That jet is able to get out of dodge as well. So good stuff from Sharky to keep themselves alive, but Game Fest is still under a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> the uh, rectifies that situation, meaning that, well, John Howard continues to be ahead. They just back on out. And oh. DM God strikes up a conversation with Maxim. It's very short, and the same can be said for Sharky. And Dash will naturally fall alongside that. A really strong round there for John Howard. Yeah, but unfortunate for Game Fest, they tried to be a little bit more impactful i suppose with their approach but it's interesting to see you know we talk about how the duelist gives you that explosive opportunity but it's really john howard who were playing very very aggressively that round pushed out super deep into b mid and, and down c long and kind of corralled game first back towards the attacking spawn however now game first are at least going to have rifles still a ways off of any of their ultimates so not going to have anything super powerful there they're really going to be relying on sharky or maxim to actually get into the site and create space and that's what's needed right now indeed game fist really testing the waters here but ready to hang back as well but you, you kind of said it that john howard is super aggressive regardless of the fact that they don't have any duelists and three players pushing up the angle the first dies but they weren't expecting Three to be their in total monsters position. Completely known here. Forced out by the paint shells. Really well done. And now this is a great opportunity to execute here. DM God might find something. They are on the flank, but it's going to be very hard for them to turn this into something more. Oh, Sharky's on the flank as well. Does not able, was not able to connect there, but yep, there you go. Word gets out. Sharky's on the move. Two players left here for John Howard. They need to make something happen. And they <gasps> don't realize QQQ is right there. That is tragic. An easy click coming through here. And magic gets the damage, but sometimes that's just the way things go with the go sorry, with the uh phantom there. It doesn't quite land enough of the shots and uh Game Fist do pick up that round. But that was um a four sorry, a bonus round for John Howard. They've he still got a left left in the bank and should be relatively comfortable going into this round. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be full buys across the board. 
So this will be our very, very first full rifle round. Except for maybe Sharky? Might be going for orb control. Yeah, I can see Sharky posturing. Okay, mm -hmm. they do actually buy for him. So he's going to be able to come in with a gun. I thought he might uh, try and get orb control and pop the knives. But it looks like, no, they're going to be going in for full vandals. We're getting very close to a lot of ultimates. And of course, uh, the classic DM guard did this quite a few rounds yesterday. And it worked out so well. Drop that 5% down on C-Long. Try and force a rotation over to the other side of the map. And already we can actually see the spike is posturing towards the A site, and whether or not they choose to commit there remains to be seen. Really does. Game first playing pretty slow here, not one to commit too hard. And I mean, that actually worked out really well for them in the previous round. John Howard really aggressive and got pretty hard to punish for that one. Dash is looking for their chance to make their move on in here. Shoots out the alarm bot and even forces both of those nano swarms to get popped. And this means John Howard have invested, invested a lot of utility here and pushes even try. coming there. A lot of time to work, 55 seconds of Seekers coming on through, but Luke is just holding down the left, but tags up Sharky a bit, but can't turn it into anything more. Sharky moves into the fight with Monstar down. It's to DM God, but with only trading one for one, I mean, that makes things very, very difficult here for John Howard. They're down a player and have to make that push happen. They've got one flash in B Magic here, but Maxim might just get that peek off. Oh, good usage there of the Astro means that B Magic is able to just flush them out. However, the problem really starts to be big here when they've got a deal with these players up in mid. Dash is completely flashed there, but they don't take it into anything else. The Trailblazer comes on through to try and rectify the situation, but there they are, the Nano Swarms, the pull, and absolutely everything through the smoke. Q -Q -Q takes down another, and end GL will help them clean on up the pistol from Dash to try and finish off this also winning play. But Luke JM has their work cut out for them. They're taken down. And Game Fist even the scores on up. That was a great utility of Game or utilization of Game Fist's utility. I think, you know, generally I like teams to steer clear of the B execute, but they didn't pop the Sage Wall, which of course gives them sight into the the a link as well as b link they took control of back of site and while maxim does die at the back of the site he's able to relay that information across they managed to hold on to a lot of those astro stars as well keep the smokes going keep the gravity wells going and they're able to use that utility to keep john howard off of the spike now john howard are forced onto a save they're gonna have the marshal available there's a lot of damage that can be done with that but now they're up to their old tricks going in for a very aggressive push down c long it is an eco round so it's all about seeing what we make happen oh it just holds down that left click final frag onto monster yeah. there Luke is on the flank, but really just can't find any of these angles. In fact, QQQ is ready and waiting for them with a backup as well. Oh, this is just badly. The bait flash is there and the shot doesn't land. Peggy attempts to get something in there, but Game Fist, they are clean. There's a reason why there's a second seed here. Another phenomenal round. And again, I mean, it took a little while, but they are starting to make it happen. Interestingly enough, though, I spoke about, again, that that uh, explosive duelist play, but it's NGL who's really coming up big here for the team. I'm going to see. Shark here seems probably not going to buy up here. So, so here's my prediction. Pop knives and then next round operator. I know, it sounds crazy. They're playing on the attack. Surely not. But why else do you stick with a, a Spectre coming into this round when you have 6,000 credits? I don't know. It would be kind of crazy, but I'm definitely down for it. You know, I mean, bringing the extra firepower certainly makes sense. It might be what they need to take down um a game fist here because i mean they've sorry uh, they've looked sorry i'm taking on john howard here because even with game fist picking up the last couple of rounds it's looked difficult for them and well there's a good amount of ultimates as well to try and force it out they could really just use those to supplement the fact that there's a spectre here oh goodness me the pixels not able to get any kills yet but uh at least they have the information of about three people this is a very early lockdown in a very good position and of course no sobers to try and take care of it so this uh i wonder if this is a bait i mean it doesn't hit everything so i'd be surprised the divide oh, okay that divide there makes a lot of sense here and shaki has been able to get so much control of the map surprised they quite used it with that timing uh, and that is two Spike ultimates planted. invested, but Game Fist, if they get this, they're so happy. Uh, I mean, John Howard have really got their work cut out for them now. So they are looking for a chance to make this push on in. They're even going to pop the wall. And, well, they've got Luke JM on that high ground, just waiting for the wall to expire. But already you can see a star down there. Luke JM 
that chance spot out some of these players two in the same angle and they divide things up the magic has already gone qqq waiting in the wings here wants to try and find that head does trace back and forth but sharky animax and ngl all deliver when john howard tried to force their way on it so something that i mentioned yesterday about trying to retake on the a site and that is you cannot take it from one angle you know a lot of teams try and just take it from that a connector side uh there was an attempt at a heaven from luke but there was nothing from sewers or from a main now if you're not taking that extra control and you're just funneling yourself out of one doorway you're running straight into the enemy team's crossfire you have way too many angles to check particularly when there's someone handy, uh, standing in the cubby around close right or if there's somebody standing Come under on. heaven uh, it makes it really difficult for that Ooh, retake that so that was always going to be a game this round Corner hit, gets a big head, hits the damage, but QQ just turns on them. It's all done to DM God. A 2k for them, a 2k from Luke JM. This is all they darn well need. Just one more head, and there's only one player left. It's Monster. Just look at a peak on oh, round no with that judge. They come a flying, <laughs> and John Howard, they pick up a really solid round. And it was a thrifty on top of it. That was an eco round. And they were able to do so much damage from that game first. They're going to be hurting off the back of that one. We're not expecting such an explosive round. But I mean, the two rounds that John Howard won, apart from the one that they just won, were pistol rounds. So it seems like they do relatively well with uh, with, dis with disadvantageous guns. Now, however, there's a full rifle round once again, right across the board, and a few ultimates online. We're finally going to be seeing that blade storm and that showstopper come online, and then of course we've got a lockdown for John Howard and the res, which is a very very powerful. Ult. Never mind, no more, no more res. Yeah, uh, you you can't have that. That is tragic. And when John Howard get aggressive, Game Fist already there to try and deny it. It's the Peggy to really rectify the situation on this A site now. And at least with some of these gravity wells, they are able to deny that push from Game Fist just yet. But exposing your head like that, buddy, it looks a little dangerous. Peggy doesn't want to tempt fate anymore and does start to back off. But Game Fist don't commit towards anything just yet. It's a nice little peek there. It allows you to get a little bit of sight and. Uh, stops you from being in too much danger and unless of course it's godlike reflexes but thankfully not everybody's quite at that That's level so vision. at least he's able to find out that it looks like it's going to be an a push we can already see a little bit of a rotation coming through peggy the clutch a. god only able to get one though and this is going to be a cleared a sight Indeed, it is the showstopper as well. They're running away from that one. I think very sensibly positioned here to just save. I mean, they look like they're making a way back on in. There's certainly some low health members to deal with, for example, that Sky, but it's going to be very difficult. And I think that Hunter's Fury is a great... Sorry, not Hunter's Fury. What am I talking about? The lockdown is a great call as well. It looks like it's going to be some hunting of the... Oh, no, my goodness. Right on into B Magic, oh. and boom, they are gone. A magic trick there for John Howard. Okay, I spoke about how if you're trying to retake on A, you can't funnel through that one doorway. The same is true if you're post planting and you're you're funneling out and just lining, literally lined up. Like, okay, it's a 3v2, but come on, if you line up like that, the spray transfer is so easy. Again, that, uh, that reflex thing I was talking about, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to turn that around. And on top of that, there was a crossfire. It was just way too dangerous. It should have stayed on site, should have played for time, maybe pulled back a little bit. I mean, you had so much to work with in that round. And we've seen a couple of those ultimates get popped. Still have the res available because unfortunately Luke went down very, very early on in the round. But Bladestorm is still up. And again, another lockdown available for game first. NGL is just farming these. Has really been on top of it. One hell of a threat. Game Fist have been so happy to give over the old orbs, let them get frags. Uh, again, it's good to see how Game Fist is happy to play around what I feel are ultimate win conditions. You get a good lockdown, and obviously it can win you an entire round, uh, basically on its own, as long as you give it the effective support, and I think that's what Game Fist are really looking to do. So now it's just about finding that information. I'm happy to see that they're not really full committing to either, either one of the sites just yet. Trying to figure out, all right, where's going to be the best means of attack? Now, bearing in mind that neither of these teams really have anyone that gets you great information. You can use the guiding light from Sky, and of course, if she gets the blinded, then you know there's someone there. Uh, and then Trailblazer can potentially, but it's not quite the same as, you know, a Sova. So, less information to work with requires a little bit more risk. 
Mm -hmm. But aggression from Maxim has got them on the site. They've got to deal with the end guard. The last player on this site, Dash, has to back left. them up and does so deftly. Three versus three now, and Gamefist will be able to get that spike on down. And no flashes for John Howard to potentially make this retake happen. No way to effectively execute onto the site, especially with the flank as well there. Keep an eye on that raise to come back on in, especially with the call coming in from Dash here. Luke really has to be careful that they don't get flanked and such the like, but there oh, it is, Maxi just pushes is. on in. A 2K and pretty much hamstringing the chances from John Howard here. He's that res did nothing. The Viper's Pit even going in from DM God here. That's how much they're investing. That's how important they find this round. 6 HP and hitting the shot. DM God is so aggressive, but doesn't have much time. I don't think they even have it. The shots yeah. are through the smoke. And that is a round in the bag for Game Fist. And it was so hard won. A very risky commitment of the Viper's Pit towards the end of that round there. It could have worked out magically, but I think that Gamefists do very well there to play for time, to try and draw attention away. And by the time we actually see DM God get onto the spike to attempt the, the defuse, it doesn't matter because QQQ is still alive and they know where the spike is being planted. So despite the fact that there's a lot of cover in front of him, all he has to do is spray down in the general direction and, and he'll be able to get that kill. So a really, really good game or really good round from Game First because their post plants have just been so strong. Really have been, they've been scary. And I mean, as well, Game First are just finding these frags towards the start of the round. With Luke JM off the board, that's just another player who, well, if they had that utility in the later part of the rounds, it would have been great, but they denied it. Left, right, and center. And, well, retakes are very difficult to make when you don't have, for example, any flashes or, well, any players, it seems, as John Howard just hemorrhaged, well, number after number. Hmm. Yeah, John Howard's defense here has been slightly lackluster, as it looks like they're going to go for a save here. You know, two rifles. You know that the next round, your team's going to be forced to eco. You want to make sure that you've got a little bit of something to work with but of course, Game Fist don't really want to allow that to happen. So they're going to go on the hunt. And even if they lose a couple, I mean, their economy is in such a good place right now. It's not going to make the biggest of differences. We'll see if we can get some extra frags here. It looks like NGL might be looking the wrong way. Oh, no. Stop. Didn't show up. And with oh. that, oh. Could the peak happen? I think Monster very sensibly is waiting that little bit, but they're about to get pinned. So the peak out wide, take it down Maxim, and even go for the second Ooh. hit. This is good damage for John Howard. But Game Fist, you know, it's just another day. They've still got that cash in bank. Yeah, I mean, fantastic little exit frags there from Monster, doing a lot to try and dent that economy a little bit. But as you mentioned, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. And on top of that, of course, Game Fist, a ton of ultimates in their bag right now. You know, they've built up a few more. Yeah, like we said, economy, perfect for Game Fist. And it's John Howard, really, uh, that are going to be struggling in this next round. All they really have now is the Seekers. They will have the Cosmic Divide with one alt orb. So might be looking to try and take orb control. They're very close to that A orb so might opt to push out for that but need to be careful because of course there's quite a strong rush happening towards the a side yeah it's luke is in cheeky position here that flash doesn't give away the position as well oh no with the boom oh. does, but still oh, oh no it doesn't i believe but unfortunately luke is routed it's all down to peggy a 2k for them but there's still three alive and the marshal oh. is landing the m god certainly is just that but unfortunately this isn't death match there are way too many pieces of utility you've got to worry about Last round. Peggy in the is the Kutchmeister, but in that particular instance, it just wasn't going to happen. Paint shells come out, and what was really unfortunate, because there was a lot of utility used in sewers to try and bait out information. The Trailblazer gets shot from the top of sewers, and then we see the uh, gravitational well come out. So instead, we, se we send out a guiding light. The guiding light doesn't right, find now. anything. So, okay, cool. Send out a boom bot. It's like they knew that Luke was waiting around the corner. They hear the sound of the, the judge. As soon as Luke swings out, I've they just mow trail. him down. Now we've got those full rifles online. Seekers are out. The knives are going to get popped. Oh! It's out of the air. Luke is just buying time. I thought it was just buying time, but it's buying space as well. 
two players taken down to net them three in total. Yeah, the lockdown's gonna be there, but you already know there's still gonna be players on site. And look at the flank as well. Oh, oh no. he's already gone. NGL is not ready for that. And with DM God on the flank, John Howard turned what was looking pretty disastrous Switching towards side. the end of the previous round into a very successful round. That was fantastic play from Gamefest to be able to, or rather from John Howard, to be able to stem the tide of that very, very aggressive hit. I mean, that was the only time we saw the Bladestorm come out and it just got completely decimated the moment that Sharky even attempted to step onto site. And of course, once that happened, it was really just a snowball effect. And of course, Luke really holding down a main as well, doing a lot of work for his team. So a 7-5 half. And honestly, that's not the worst situation for John Howard to be in. Game first with their explosive double duelist composition who are expecting to have a runaway first half definitely did not get what they bargained for. And now they're really going to need to have to step it up here on defense if they want to keep their lead and potentially win out the, the, the map. Really do have to. They've got a... I think push out a little bit more. We see all the aggression of John Howard worked well for them and against them on the defending side. Let's see if it can work a little bit more on the attack. I mean, they're certainly going to need it. They do have some more static compositions, so glad to see them at least spurring themselves onward in and of themselves. I'm a big fan of this gun skin. It's quite, uh, quite pretty. Yeah, blue and purple, it works. Nades down into sewers, buys them some space. Not necessarily a kill, but it does start to force a rotation. Looks like it might be a B hit or possibly a see-through garage. I would definitely vouch for the see-through garage. Oh, no. Oh, this three. Oh, the shot. Oh, he still finds one. Oh, and there's another there. QQQ just slipped on in at the last moment with that turret. The M God is not in a great position. Will manage to shoot it away, but they expended a lot there. They have still half a minute to go. They were quick on that execute, so they have a lot to work with still. And look at the Viper positioning. They can make this seaside push and plant work subsequently after this. The problem is, is the NGL is in potentially a really key position if they try and move themselves into better post-plant situations, especially since this isn't planted for long, it's actually planted for a more, well, close to that garage position as the push comes out from NGL, but without that weapon advance, right click at long range seems a little bit suspect, but Maxim still finds something of their own. DM God is holding the corner, needs to beat this wide, but takes a lot of damage. Moving on in here, cannot deal with Bouncy to some heading towards them, and it's all up to Monster now. Needs to get that headshot, gets a lot of damage, but doesn't quite finish off that. The push doesn't have a lot of time. They're buying it, and they just oh. about make it before they fall. That rotation, the lurk was good from Monster. I was kind of watching that on the map and thinking that could be a really great pincer movement, but it just took a little bit too long to actually get to site. By the time it happened, you're in a 1v2. The defuse has already started. If Monster had opted to move through Garage instead of, you know, Defender Spawn, maybe he's able to get there in time. But of course, that angle gets checked by Dash. So it did make it very difficult to clutch that one out. It was very close, however. That's going to be one round. First round in the second half. Oh, damn it. They're going to be going on over to Game Fist. They're going to try and Taking jettison their self off the back of that momentum with, of course, a slight gun advantage here, knowing that John Howard will not have bought up. Ooh. Spike down A. Beautiful use of the Marshall there. Sharky looking for that little bit more. Wants to find some of those players. But they aren't contesting. Yeah. Oh, so I oh. thought Monstar just repeats it and gets punished accordingly. You just can't do that, buddy. Game for shut it down. They are in a massive amount of control of this round. They have the weapon advantage and now the player advantage. John Howard had their work cut out and it looks like they might try and barrel down C. But again, ready with the play. Maxim is already there. Sprays down Luke and the two Who's remaining. They're going to try and smoke their way on in, but there's too many bullets downrange at such an alarming rate. John Howard can't get a word on the edgeways. Dry peeking the marshal and Sharky, who just managed to take down one of your opponents is, or one of your teammates, is still vibing there. Dangerous move. Of course, it was... I mean, I don't want to call it an anti-ego, but, you know, it, it, there was definitely gun advantage. It was pure pistol round for John Howard. They weren't really expecting to come away from that unscathed, or I don't think they were really expecting to win that round. But, of course, they come into this one, and they're able to buy up, and that makes all the difference in the world. We'll see how they choose to approach this default. Because they are slowly, I mean, we're already at a four-point deficit now. 
they have to kind of slow it down and consider how they're going to approach this. They don't have anything explosive to bounce in on site. They're going to have to take this a little bit more cautiously, a little bit more strategically. And I can already see how they've split themselves across the map. It's a great start as they attempt to try and find some information when, as I mentioned previously, they don't really have the agents to help with that. Oh, it really can make things difficult. They've got up. the sky to maybe get some of that info, but much else. And they can cover some of those flanks as well, but again, that Killjoy, not the most useful on attack until that post plant situation. As we see the dog, the Trailblazer, starting to come on through here. Be magic spots out one of those players, and the information is being um, communicated here. They've already got the sky to come in and re-hold that. That Nano Swarm buys them two easy frags, but the flank is already there. Luke JM nets NGL, and well, actually, QQQ even makes it out there. This is not too bad for Game Fist, though. They still have a lot to work with, and Maxim is ready to jump on out here. Oh, they're pulled into the open extra. The gravity well is so scary. That's something you always got to be aware of. And well, Peggy, the Astra themselves is likely aware of well a hell of a lot here. But that slow orb is way too much for them. Out of the air, but there's too many players. Still, they find two. But the clutch from Peggy isn't enough yet again. I mean, it's it's one of those things. One player can't be doing everything, and. As much as we've seen them really pop off, in, in, you know, particularly yesterday, sometimes it's just it's too difficult. And again, I mean, this was a stellar defense from Gamefist. Despite the wall coming up to try and cut off the rotation from a link, doesn't matter. They better to take very good control up in heaven. And once that's done, it's just clean up. Rifle rounds again, of course, their economy is stellar. They've got both of their duelist ultimates, the Showstopper and the Bladestorm. Those are super powerful. And John Howard haven't been able to build up any of their ultimates just yet. They haven't really been given the opportunity. Yeah. Sensible stuff from Sharky here. Not committing too hard towards that one. Knows that it's better to have a player on the point and throw away the opportunity, especially because they're into inferior weaponry. They should be able to get away with this. Clearing out some of those closer angles and with the backup of that bird. Put that pressure on, but the Ooh. double peak and still the Jets so non-committal. QQQ is even going to be able to back off there with the flash room and the back ends up. There's a lot of concussion, oh, wow. but still hits too. However, the Jet is waiting in the smoke, looking for their chance to strike. Oh, the flank is there, but Peggy finds one at the cost of so much. With the rifle delivers one versus two. Not a lot to deal with anymore. He just has to find this last couple of shots. You can already see the NGL is looking to play as a duo with their remaining teammate, but it's uh, all down to Maxim hitting that headshot. And Game Fist are two away from this map. Oh, John Howard are really, really trying so hard here, putting in so much effort into each of these rounds, but their post plants, I mean, they're not even being allowed to get into that post plant position. As soon as they get in onto site, they just get oh, mowed no. down. And here's the thing. Post-plant doesn't necessarily happen. The name alludes to like plant the spike, then post-plant, but it's really clear the site, get into position so that while your teammate is planting, you have control and you can shut it down. They're not able to get into position on the site easily enough, and they're not able to shut down the rotations from Game Fist. Now they have been able to build up a couple of ults for this round, might be able to make something happen here, but again, it's going to be a tough one. Like you said, we're one away from Matt and Point, and things are looking dire. They really, really are. It's scary for John Howard. They have a couple of ultimates to use, but again, it requires them to get onto that site for the most part. They can use the Cosmic Divide to potentially provide them with something yeah. a little bit more manageable, a little more bite-sized in terms of site, but it seems like regardless of that game fest, just win out these duels. The star is taking off Sharky like that. That could be an opening that they really could use. Sharky going for a very deep angle, but Monster is actually pushing into Suez here. It's going to run straight into QQQ. He's trying to clear the site for the rest of his team. Hasn't given away too much information just yet, as now his team does gather with him. Not using a guiding light, walking straight Strike into the crosses. And there is the lockdown as well to follow it back up. John Howard, they still want to make it happen. 
four versus three. Dash is aware. You don't hit these shots, you're dead anyway. Could still back out, but has to make a difficult cross. Gets a lot of damage. Even takes down another for good measure. Detained, yeah, but got away with absolute murder. They're not going to the right kind of prison, unfortunately, but there it is. The Vipers hit. Monster falls because the shots are just there from NGL. And you could have played to the pit, you could have tried, but with that spike out in the open, because match of that shot point. from NGL, Game Fist are on match point, and John Howard look Uh, that was a very, like, a really Valorant, Valorant? I keep saying that, a valiant attempt from John Howard. I think not using the guiding light when they were pushing through sewers and instead opting to just kind of Ferrari peek it, definitely a detrimental move a bit of a misplay there because they needed that numbers advantage i spoke about how they don't really get a chance to set up on site before they plant and we saw that colorize this dash manages to clutch out very nicely get that 2k they're not kind of covering each other they're not swinging on each other they're allowing too many kills to come through and now game first with five ultimates online knowing that john howard are definitely at a detriment here they only have cosmic divide and I'm not sure that everyone was able to actually full buy up to their best possible buy. Match point, and it's not looking good for John Howard. No, it really is. Just not been able to put these rounds in. Game Fist have denied them by absolutely everything. And as he said, it's, it's just so bad. Five ultimates, weapons all abound for Game Fist here. The showstopper could be big. It's going to land. It's going to take out one. But there's a close up. And even that doesn't work. DM God must be molding right there. That should have been theirs. That covered everything, <laughs> but the flash was just that little bit too much. And now, well, Monster is going to have to step up here, but doesn't even find that it? frag. That could have been perfect. Could have been their chance to really pitch on Game Fist. But with QQQ Q, Q coming to support, and with the healing and everything, this game of attrition is more than enough for Game Fist. They're going to clean up, but even take out two from NGL. Game Fist.